Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer stories for Barcelona. We start with Clement Lenglet as it has been reported that Lenglet is not a priority for Tottenham Hotspur. The deal is not even progressing. According to ever-reliable journalist Fabrizio Romano, we are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, Talking about this other transfer report claiming that Barca have decided against executing the buy option for this 18-year-old Brazilian winger. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video. And please watch it right up to the very end. In a devastating update for FC Barcelona, Fabrizio Romano is reporting that Tottenham Hotspur no longer see Clement Langlet as a priority this summer and the deal with Barcelona is not progressing. Langlet spent last season on loan at Tottenham and had a fair solid campaign there. Following that, it has been widely reported in Spain that the Lily Whites intend to sign the Frenchman permanently and that talks are taking place with Barcelona over a transfer. Only yesterday, it was suggested that Tottenham and Lenglet had reached a principal agreement over a three-year contract, but there was no agreement on a fee between the two clubs as Barca were holding out for 10 million euros, while Spurs were willing to offer just 5 million euros. However, now Fabrizio Romano is reporting that Tottenham are not advancing the operation for Lenglet with Barcelona, with the deal no longer considered a priority by the Premier League club. Instead, they have turned their focus on other possible targets such as Edmond Tapsoba, Mickey van der Van, um and other player whose names has not been revealed decisions regarding the same will be made once they complete the acquisition of james madison barcelona have been trying to get rid of players at the earliest possible this summer but have had little success langlet appeared likely to be the first departure from the club this summer but with tottenham no longer seeing him as a priority the Catalans must find other suitors for the French international. Langlet has a contract with Barca that runs until 2026 and has steep wages, so it is crucial for the La Liga champions to get rid of the centre halves in their bid to reduce the salary mass, even if it means that they might have to compromise on the transfer fee a little. Of course, Clement Langlet has been one of those players that Barca have been pushing for a sale. And this report now from Fabrizio will come as a big blow. Unlike yesterday, when we thought that Langlet is close to joining Tottenham, because there was a report saying that, you know, there's already a full agreement between the player and Tottenham. Um, of course, but Barca were the one now to complete it by agreeing with Tottenham. But so far, there was no agreement on the transfer fee. But now with transfer expert Fabrizio saying that the deal is not progressing as many people expected, it means that Barcelona still have a lot to think about as to the sales of players this summer. Lenglet spent his time on loan last summer, last season playing for Tottenham, and honestly, he was not that bad as many people could have expected. Lenglet was not that bad. He was a decent player there and he played about 35 matches in all competitions and there were reports that Tottenham, you know, are happy with his performances. Earlier, after the season just got finished, a report came out saying that Tottenham have asked the player to leave, that they are not interested in signing him permanently. But later they changed their minds and they were considering it, you know, as an option to extend him there, to buy him permanently, to be a Tottenham player. But from from there, we have been getting a lot of reports about the player likely to go to Tottenham as the deal was progressing. But when it came to the price, things were not, there was no middle ground. Barca reportedly asked for 10 million euros, but Tottenham have insisted that they don't have 10 million euros to spend for, 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 for 
Lenglet, Tottenham have insisted that 5 million euros is what they have. And of course, we know Lenglet takes a lot of wages. If Lenglet comes to Barca back, for instance, next season, he will he will take a lot more wages as per his contract where that is signed under Josep Maria Bartomeu. And Barca don't want it by any means that Lenglet continues to play his football next season at Barcelona because the clubs will suffer through the financial implications of that. That is why they are really pushing for Lenglet to stay. I think if push comes to shove, Lenglet might remain at, at, at Tottenham for that 5 million euros that Tottenham are asking because Barca are so desperate. They are so desperate to sell these players who are deemed you know, out of favor by manager Xavi and his coaching staff. So there's still a lot to deliberate on. You know, Lenglet is still, it's not like he has been completely ruled out to play at Tottenham. Romano just said it is not progressing. So hopefully it should progress because Barca really need to sell these players. Some of them have refused, like players like Ferran Torres and Sufati have already said they don't want to leave Barcelona now. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona have decided not to execute the purchase option for the right of first refusal of um, Santos FC winger Angelo Gabriel who is likely to join a Premier League club this summer, reports Joaquin Piera of Sport. The 18-year-old Santos prodigy is regarded as one of the most exciting talents in Brazil and has already made close to 130 senior appearances, you know, despite his young age. He has five goals and 10 assists to show far in that time. Barcelona have had their eyes on Gabriel for a long time. Why now? And of course, had even secured a purchase clause option and a right for first refusal for the first footed winger with Santos back in 2022. Defender Kaiki Fernandez too was part of a similar agreement between the two clubs but Barca decided against activating either clause for him last summer when he joined Almeria and now the La Liga champions have decided against executing the buy option or the right for First refusal for Angelo Gabriel, as well as despite having tested the possibility of his arrival in January earlier this year, having come close to signing for Nottingham Forest in the winter window, the 18-year-old is now bound to sign for Chelsea as per the report, with the Blues likely to shell out around 15 million euros for the winger services before loaning him out. If Barca were not struggling with financial fair play, the picture could have been different as they might have opted to make a move for Gabriel. However, given the contract circumstances, the 18-year-old does not feature in the club's transfer plans. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.